when you imagine an animal protecting itself from other animals, you might think of a turtle going inside its hard shell to stay safe, or porcupines using their sharp quills to scare away other animals, or a rhino using its big horn to protect its baby. But I'm going to guess that when you think of animals protecting themselves, this little fellow isn't what comes to mind. Well, let me introduce you to the slow loris. What a funny sounding name. This animal looks so cute and harmless. What can this little guy do? Well, this animal might have the cutest little face and a funny little name, but it might surprise you that even the biggest animals in the jungle should steer clear of it. That leads us to our big question for the day. How does a slow loris protect itself? In order to answer this question, we need to gather some info. The slow loris may not look like it can protect itself very well, but it's actually very poisonous. The slow loris makes the poison from a spot on its arm, and then it rubs the poison all over its fur and even on its teeth. It basically turns itself into a small fuzzy ball of poison. You should definitely avoid giving this little guy a hug. Describe how you think the slow loris could use this poison. If the slow loris feels threatened, it can try to bite at the larger animal because it has the poison on its teeth. This dangerous poison will serve as a reminder for any animal to not mess with the slow loris. If the animal tries to bite the slow loris, it'll get a mouthful of poison that the slow loris has rubbed all over its fur. You can probably guess that is extremely unpleasant. Now, all slow loris are poisonous, but they don't all have the same amount of poison. Let's look at these different slow loris. They all look about the same. But now let's compare the amount of poison each slow loris has. Based on this information, which slow loris can best protect itself against predators? All slow loris have poison, but some are more poisonous than others. If a slow loris only has a small amount of poison, it may not be enough to bother a hungry predator. However, if the slow loris has a lot of poison, then the predator will be in for a lot of pain and could even die. This means that the more poison a slow loris has, the better it can defend itself against predators and the higher its chances of survival. So let's go back to our big question. How does a slow loris protect itself? Well, we learned that the slow loris is actually very poisonous, and the more poison a slow loris has, the higher its chances of survival. Some slow loris have more poison, while some slow loris only have a small amount of poison. The slow loris isn't the only animal with a surprising way to defend itself. It's time to show what you learned. Take a look at this creature that looks kind of like a really weird fat eel. This is a hagfish, and like the slow loris, it has a surprising way to defend itself. When hagfish feel threatened, they make a slippery special slime on their skin that helps them slip away and escape from predators. But some can produce more slime than others. Look at these four hagfish. Which hagfish will be more successful at slipping away from predators? The hagfish that produce more slime will have a higher chance of survival because they can slip away from predators more easily. Now that you've shown what you learned, let's recap. Many animals have surprising traits that help them to protect themselves against predators. But not every individual has the same exact traits. Some individuals have stronger defenses, which makes them more likely to survive than others. Now that's it for this time. Don't forget to keep asking questions.